Hey everyone, Mike Reeve here. This is behind me. This is my 1979 F-250 custom crew cab. Let's go check it out. Right away, just from looking at the chassis, you can tell this isn't just your average 1979 F-250 sitting on a 2013 F-150 EcoBoost chassis. I ended up using the chassis, drivetrain, and complete interior. Starting here at the front of the truck, I wanted to retain that classic 1979 front end. So we got the square headlights, got that big rectangular open grille. Main modifications here, I did have to cut the frame horns back to accept the new bumper. Uh, I'd probably cut off about four, five, six inches off those. This truck being built for my daily driver, it's not a show truck. You can kind of see that pretty evidently underneath. I reuse as much of the insulation along the firewall as I could from the 2013. Even reuse little things like the uh, stock washer. So the firewall was probably most of the work in here. To be able to accept the stock HVAC system of the 2013, I had to punch out the uh, firewall quite a bit and then make it accept the AC lines and the heater lines. And then I reused the 2013 wiper motor. There's quite a bit of work on the rad support to fit the charge air cooler, a little bit larger rad, plus the AC condenser. All right, so that's under the hood. Let's go check out the interior. I'll do a more detailed video on the interior here, but some cool things like door jars still function, you know, seat belt alarms still function, still power seat, power pedals, you got auto headlights, XM Sirius for satellite radio, uh, e locker rear diff, trailer brake controller. All the modern creature comforts that you'd want out of driving in 2013 are still retained in this interior. Ended up having to create a custom headliner for this truck. You can't really buy the full crew cab headliners anywhere that I could find. So my friend Dave and I actually and built this pretty cool headliner. I'm stoked on how it turned out. The rear seats again for functionality. I retained all their mobility, be able to carry all my tools with me, recovery gear, that sort of thing. So they flip up, flip down. So I went with Bilstein shocks in all four corners. The front struts were adjustable on their spring length so we could actually adjust the height of the truck to get exactly where we want these 5160 rear piggyback shocks we went with. And then they're paired with Ride Right airbags. And again, it's all switched from in the cab so I can get that proper stance that we want no matter what you're hauling or towing. The back end of the truck doesn't look like much but there's some cool trick components. My friend Dave and I actually retrofitted some 2003 era Chevy tailgate latches into the mechanisms and it just opens and closes so nice now. You don't got to slam it. And then retaining the Reese receiver, seven and four way pins, plus the brake controller still integrated into the dash. So I've hauled my race trailer a few times with the truck and it's just been awesome to do. Thanks for joining me on this build video. If you guys have any specific questions on how I got things together, just comment below and I'll try and get to them as best I can. But subscribe to this page because I'm gonna be actually breaking down the build in more detail in specific shorter videos and under hood, interior, the box, things like that and how I made it all come together. So subscribe and you'll see more videos upcoming.